Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Well, this week we're looking at one of those words that's pronounced two ways. Status or status is Uncle Jay's news word for this week. It's it's like that old uh, song, tomato, tomato. Uncle Jay is very old. Never mind. Status, when you pronounce it that way, it means the current state of things, the way things are right now, like a, like a medical condition. You, you might have a medical condition, a PHPD, post-Harry Potter depression. Now that the suspense is over and we all know the ending, Harry realizes that he's gay and marries Adam Sandler. And I think Hermione marries a British soccer player and moves to L.A. Somebody just did that. Was that her? Well, there was also a very important change in the status of the presidency over the weekend. President Bush had a quick medical procedure that Uncle Jay doesn't want to think about for one second. And for three hours, Dick Cheney got to be the acting president. So let's look at the legacy of President Cheney. He didn't shoot anybody, and he didn't try to pass a constitutional amendment against his daughter. He did a heck of a job. Well, now let's check the status of the race for our next president. The Democrats can brag that the next president might be the first one who's black or a woman or poor. But the Republicans can brag, too. They might elect the very first nun because none of the above was the winner of the latest Republican poll. The candidates responded to that very quickly. Uncle Jay thinks that the uh, virginity part of this might be a hard sell for them. Okay, now, when you pronounce this week's word status, that means someone who's special and respected, like Michael Vick, the football star. But right now, his is in danger because he just got accused of doing some terrible things to dogs. Now, boys and girls, Michael Vick deserves a fair trial from an impartial judge. But I think we can all agree that America's dogs deserve better than to just be stand-ins for people's bloodlust, unless they can get a 10-year contract and a shoe endorsement. Okay, boys and girls, it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from Max in Turpin Hills, Ohio. Hi, Max. Max writes, Dear Uncle Jay, I can't understand all the fighting between Israel and Gaza and the Jews and the Palestinians. Please explain this to me in a way I can understand. Oh, Max. Okay, there's a book. It's called The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Middle East Conflict. But if it was printed more than five days ago, Max, it's probably not very useful. There are some books, just by their very nature, they need constant updating and and revising. And it, it just doesn't make sense to keep publishing a new version every couple of weeks. As for the actual Mideast problem, Max, there are many people who do not understand what is happening there. And most of them are running for president. Sorry. Well, boys and girls, send your news questions to Uncle Jay at UncleJayExplains.com. I'll see you next week when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a good kid is good news. Good news.